John Ralston is host of Face to Face in Nevada and a columnist for the Las Vegas Sun. Hey, John, thanks so much for joining us today. Well, you've been watching it all and watching the calendar issue as well. The president heading in your direction with foreclosures at a record high in Nevada. How important will be his initiative today and how will it be received there? Well, he's going to be speaking, Andrea, after a fundraiser, of course, the important business on the Las Vegas Strip, from a distressed neighborhood. And they're not hard to find uh, in Las Vegas, as you've talked about. He's going to try to say, listen, I have this new plan. It's going to help you. But people here are more underwater than anywhere in the country, Andrea. Maybe 60 to 70 percent of the people in uh, Las Vegas are underwater on their homes. So I'm not sure that they're even listening anymore. But they're probably, as Chris pointed out, looking for a contrast are hoping for a contrast with the Republican candidates who were here last week to debate and all essentially said, let the free market work, which is not, I think, what most people who are uh, underwater in their houses or being foreclosed on want to hear. And he's going to be greeted, in fact, uh, for, with a new Spanish language Crossroads GPS launch. Uh, this is, again, a, an attack ad which is going after him and is targeting the Hispanic community. And that's, of course, a large number of the voters in Nevada. Uh, indeed, the Hispanic population here has exploded over the last decade. It's about a quarter of the population now, not quite as big a, a portion of the electorate. It was about 12 percent last cycle, 15 percent, though, when Barack Obama won the state in 2008 by 12 points. But they've been very hard hit, uh, maybe disproportionately hit. That's part that there's a large Hispanic population near where the president will be speaking today. I don't think that's a coincidence. That's a huge battleground right here in in a battleground state. And John, I, I know that uh, you were a big proponent for moving Nevada up. How do you feel now that it's clear that Nevada is going to go along with the original February schedule and that means that, that New Hampshire will fall back to its original schedule of January 10th? Well, I'm on uh, antidepressants now, Andrea, but I finally come to, to, to acceptance that, that, that we're going from third to fifth. Listen, Nevada just completely folded from pressure from Bill Gardner and his mystical powers as the Secretary of State of New Hampshire. And the RNC just didn't want to have this kind of a brouhaha when it's trying to sort through its candidates. That's a big enough problem. Nevada is going to be fifth now a few days after Florida. I think it was a huge mistake, but what's done is done. Well, thank you very much, John Ralston from Nevada.